6A, and this is our first public hearing item. This is REZ 2023-4, the Chase property located at 6119 Quarterman Road. This involves 18 acres. It is currently EA, and the request is for RA, and it will have well accepted. Mr. Dillon. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, Commissioners. The request, as you noticed, is here from EA to RA. Uh, I'll pause here on the current zoning map just to point out that you do see the uh, Quarterman Crossing subdivision there, highlighted in R21, the Emily Lane, Berkeley Lane. Staff has been unable to figure out how this was uh, came to be. Best we can figure is in somewhere between 1984 and 1987, the zoning was in place, uh, actually at R10. However, the subdivision was not platted until 2005. Um, so just a little bit there about why that R21 is there. But the property you see here in blue in the bottom right hand corner is the subject property and it is approximately 18 acres. Overall, this area is depicted as an agricultural forestry character area. And you'll note in the staff report that I do comment that this particular section, the southern half, uh, has a slightly different feel to it, more of a rural residential, and I'll get to that in just a little bit. Um, you do notice that there are slightly uh, pocket wetlands on this property, may or may not actually exist, but there is some blue line streams that run through this area and multiple properties as well. When staff did the analysis, they include all 131 properties that have access to Corbin Road. Uh, you'll notice in the, uh, your packets there is an opposition a report prepared by the opposition that challenges the number of uh, parcels that should be analyzed here, but staff used 131 to have access to Corbin Road uh, for this. And again, you can see the large uh, discrepancy in, in acreage between all of these properties, some of them being just under an acre uh, with Corbin Crossing, some of them being one acre or more. Um, then you have some very large parcels, over 150 acres, a few 200 plus tracks uh, along the very southern portion Cordman Road. Um, and again, speaking about the opposition, there was a petition that has been signed included in your packet as well. These are the addresses of those who signed the petition, particularly around the Cordman Road area. You also have the larger map in your packets that show uh, from around the entire county, and then some that were signed online, which didn't exactly give an address, but they are in that packet. Uh, we also looked about how these properties are taxed and used, and this kind of goes, speaks to the rural residential area. You notice the yellow there is tax residentially, the kind of lighter mint color there has an agricultural tax and the green is conservation. So just to, just again, the difference in the northern half versus the southern, um, and I'll go ahead and explain that in the next slide here. We do see the northern imagery, the subdivision on the left, and then the agricultural portion and undisturbed uh, natural area and character of it. Again, this, this kind of depicts the northern two-thirds of Cordman Road. When you get to the southern, you see the much smaller lots. You do see some agricultural activity around the uh, west, south, and east side of Gordman Road. And you'll notice here in the subject property, um, down in that southern right-hand corner, the, the houses do tend to get closer to the road. The two new lots on the east uh, were just completed this year. And again, here's a slightly more zoomed-in view, just so you can get a, hopefully a better idea. Now, the request is EA to RA. Under its current EA zoning, the, sub the property could be subdivided, as depicted here, we begin the five acre minimum. A request for pure RA would grant them potentially seven total lots. And this is where staff uh, had paused that straight RA was a little too intense for this area. So that's why staff recommended a condition with 210 foot building width. And this would potentially give them five lots. So they can do three by right, five with a condition, or seven if it's pure RA. If you wanted to further limit this, you could potentially do it to four lots and have this particular layout. Um, again, these are roughly 225 feet wide, the, the new lots that are three acres there, and the existing home site to kind of balance uh, what's out there. But the Planning Commission heard this and had a lot of discussion about maintaining the rural character of the area um, and did ultimately recommend denial seven to one. Any questions for Mr. Dillard? So we could, we could, if we did choose to do RA, we could still put uh, restrictions on the minimum lot size. Yes, yeah, so the 210 is what the current EA lot width is, mm -hmm. and that was just a standard in the ULDC, so that's the, the recommended condition to maintain spacing if you chose to go that way. But uh, staff's only recommendation was for 210 foot lot width, which could potentially get you five lots, which is two more than what's allowed by right now. If you felt that five was too many, uh, you could put
put a condition on no more than four, which is what's depicted in this last slide here, if you felt that was appropriate. Is, is 210 an acre wide? I can't say that it's an acre wide. I can say it's the minimum building width for EA. Um, 150 foot is what you see here. That's 150 foot. That's what RA allows. So again, uh, staff try to consider keeping the separation of houses. The two lots to the north are a little over 215 feet as well. Um, they're approximately 120 feet between the houses themselves, but the lots are, are a little over 210 feet each. Um, you'll do notice there's a little bit of a pocket wetland in the back of those properties. So when you look at kind of the, I'm going to call it the effective usable area to stay out of the wetlands, you're looking at almost two and a half to three acres uh, for those two recently subdivided lots on the north, just as a reference. Could you, could you take a second and go back to the slide that had the actual acreage of those, of the neighbors? Yes, sir. Pretty well, the minimum lot size anywhere in that loop right there is um, almost five acres, 4.99, 4.92, 4.88. Yes, sir. That, that is the minimum lot size required in EA, and that's what everybody's pretty much stuck with to this point. Any other questions? 210 is an acre wide. 210 by 210, 210 by 210 is 44,000, some of them are 43,500, so it would be an acre wide. Any other questions? Okay. All right, let's move on then.